Ahorro, damas y caballeros. and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fight fans, welcome back to Luxurytainment. I'm desperate to show the world that I am the best. I'll fight Canelo. The headline events, David Benavidez, 25 wins, 0 losses, 22 wins by the way of knockout, is taking on David Lamarck, 43 wins, 4 losses and 36 wins by the way of knockout in the main event. The two are fighting for the interim WBC Super Middleweight title. I cannot see David Lamox winning this fight, even if Benavides is kind enough to give him the exact sort of slugfest he wants. Benavides is just flat out too big, too powerful and too durable for Lamox to handle in their firefight. And Benavides doesn't even have to slug it out. His reach advantage and ramrod jab are potent weapons at a distance. And while Lamox does have some underrated technical chops, I can't see him having much fun either boxing with Benavides or trying to bully him into a phone booth. Benavides jabs his nose inside out and breaks down his body for a mercy stoppage. And it is over! Oh my God. Is has stopped it in the first! Wow. And Michael Sullivan has no idea where he's at! Lamox is at a significant disadvantage in heights, reach and age. Benavides has proven super middleweight power, while Lamox hasn't yet shown his fearsome middleweight knockout artist reputation. Also, this applies at 168 pounds. Other than reputation, there's not much to recommend Lamox here beyond his greater pro experience and French Canadian warrior spirit. I have a hard time seeing this fight going the distance, considering the styles of both fighters, who will come right after one another, but I don't think Lamox will be able to keep up with Benavides' punch output and will end up getting overwhelmed by an accumulation of punches by the middle of the fight. Lamox isn't exactly the kind of fighter who's just content to go the distance. Lamox is now 
is past his best days and fighting above his ideal weight. I think Lamox still may carry pretty good power at 168, but I think his skills and reflexes have eroded enough that a big and active super middleweight like David Benavides will have his way. To conclude, Benavides is bigger, younger, more skilled and far more suited to the weight than the Canadian. Lemuk says he's been the underdog and won in the past, but that's not exactly true. This is Lemuk's giving it what may be a final shot at top level glory, or at least the last best chance, and it's still a major uphill battle. The only fighter who was even a bigger favourite against him was with Triple G. Lomox has to land an absolutely home run shot to win this fight. You are the youngest champion in the sport of boxing right now. On the other side, I expect Benavides to more break down and wear out Lamox than score any sudden knockout blow, but he'll get him out. Mystic Zank predicts stoppage on the sixth round. So guys, who do you think wins this fight between Benavides v Lamox? Thanks for watching, please subscribe, like and share, have a great day.